Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon right here on Missile Dine Online. That's me, that's my channel. What's going on guys? Welcome back. I know it's been a while since we've actually uh, done any Legend of Dragoon stuff as per usual, but we are jumping into it and we are continuing where the story left off after we left the Valley of Corrupted Gravity and Shayna destroyed that Virage. Uh, Virage, Virage, Shauna, Shayna, it don't, don't matter. Uh, in this episode, we are heading into the home of Giganto, the base of the Garage Gang. If you remember, those are the bandits that have pretty much taken over Tiberoa, Fletz, Danau, all of those places have been struggling. But Dart and friends are here, and they're about to get some butt. Look at this place, guys, the home of Giganto. Dude, I am so excited for this place. I absolutely love it. It's so cool. Uh, Gigantos, of course, being Kongol's race. Kongol being potentially the last of the Gigantos. So this, my friends, is the ruins of the home of Gigantos. So as soon as you walk, get ready to run because there are arrows. Oh, my God. Ah! Head to this door right away. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, you, if you, it, it doesn't do anything. If you get hit, it just kind of like, it, 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 you just walk away. It's totally fine. Uh, right over here in this corner, there's a small switch. If we push that, the arrows will stop flying at us. And of course, there is a chest right here that we can grab, which is 20G. Look at this mummy right here. If we go ahead, we can examine this. It's the mummy of a giganto. Whose mom is that? Someone's mommy. Mummy? Anyways, uh, now we actually want to use this door right here. Because it kind of leads us to where we just were, the map that we just were, but like this area that you can't get to without going there, which has another item for us, which is going to be a bandit's ring, which if you uh, was a was an item that we actually got from Drake the bandit over in the Shrine of Shirley. If you guys remember that, very, very good item, uh, increasing the speed of all who equip it. Then we want to head back out here. I absolutely love uh, this place, by the way. It's one of my one of my favorite maps in the entire game. Right here, we can get another item. I skipped it because the arrows were getting uh, shooting at us. That is a fake knight shield. And we're going to get into our first random encounter here, my friends. Now, okay, I have to say this place is going to... I'm going to be here for a very long time because there is some very, very strong grinding opportunities here. Uh, not only are there the rock fireflies that we'll see, but also... Uh, we have these enemies that we literally just encountered. These are called Piggy. They are Earth Elementals. They have 160 health. But here's the kicker, my friends. They have a 1% chance of dropping a Satchet, which, as you know, is one of the items that does 10 health or 10 damage to any enemy no matter what, which means that it is the best item in the entire game for easily killing uh, the unique monsters that we ran into, which is very, very lucrative for uh, leveling purposes, gold farming, all of that stuff. So uh, you're probably gonna be killing these uh, pretty frequently, to be totally honest with you. Now you'll also notice that I still have uh, Shauna, Shayna in my party, and that is because I'm trying to farm her SP up. She's also the strongest uh, magic user in the game right now. Uh, Miru is also very, very strong and will be better than, Sh than Shauna, but for right now, uh, we'll go ahead and use her just because, again, I want that SP, I want that Dragoon level. Using Miru would kind of be a waste right now. I'm also finally nailing the fury of sticks we'll go ahead and hopefully finish off this piggy this piggy's definitely gonna want to drop a an item for us maybe that satchet yes that would be excellent oh my god i messed up i just said i literally just said that i can hit and then and then i oh man <laughs> So anyways, there are some other enemies that we can encounter here. The gangster, the crafty thief, those we have to encounter no matter what. Uh, and the other enemy that we can find randomly is the berserker. The berserker has no defense whatsoever and will just melt uh, when you hit it. So we're going to continue up here. Ooh. So the gangster enemies also have a 2% chance to drop a bandit's ring, and the berserker enemies have a 2% chance to drop a energy girdle, uh, which, again, you're going to want these items. Some of them are very good. So as we, we pull out our sword, look at this. We're running around with a sword out. Oh, my God. Never run with your sword out, dude. You poke yourself in the eye. 
Look at this. Oh my God, I love this map so much. I don't know what you want. How did you manage to get all the way here? We should play with them a little. Yo, Min, don't kill them. That's what our boss said, but why don't we stop them till they hate being alive? <laughs> so then they're gonna they're gonna shoot us. That's fine. We're just gonna run through. Oh my God! There's a giant door wheel thing there. Okay, well, what do we do? You thought it would be that easy, huh? Okay, uh, shoot him out. Oh, all right, let's go this way then. Oh, come on. <laughs> Where are you going? No, oh, jeez. Oh, we just got to run. Oh, oh, my jeez, Louise. Oh, don't, don't shoot me. Oh, where do we go? Darn, those nimble rats. Yo, brother, take care of them, will ya? <laughs> yeah, I got him. It's been a while. I'm making a get him. Let us meet with your boss. We have to talk. There will be no talking. You've already ruined our territory. What? That pose. It must be from the Rouge School. What? How do you know about that? That's my question. How did you find out about the Rouge School? Who cares? If you really want to learn about it, tussle with me. Tussle. That guy just said tussle. What year is it? Anyway, so this is a fixed battle against a gangster and two crafty thieves. The gangster uh, will do way more damage than the crafty thieves. It is a earth elemental enemy with 280 health. The crafty thieves have about 200 health. It should go down, no problem. They are darkness. Uh, so we're just gonna have Shayna hit go go ahead and smack one of them. Mm -hmm. 100 SP every turn. Wowzers! Uh, Hashel's gonna go ahead and focus on the gangster here, because again, we really want to take him down. Now, what's interesting to me is apparently this gangster knows something about the Rouge School. Very strange. Don't know. Don't know how that's important yet. And hopefully this will be enough to end up defeating the gangster. Oh my god, it won't if you mess up your god darn additions, Corey. All right, let's go ahead and finish this off with Hashel. Or not, because I'm me. There we go. Now, I also have Shauna Shayna using the spirit ring because that's going to give her 20 SP every turn. Again, I want her to hit uh, Dragoon level 5 which is her maxed out Dragoon level as soon as possible. It's, it's trust, trust. It's very, very good. There's a fight later on where like you use that, you win it. Look at that. Pretty much one shotting a thief all on his own hatchel, teaching us what it means to be a man. And Dart will go ahead and hopefully finish off this. Oh my God, I'm fired. I'm fired. This guy just ran away. Yeah. Yeah, you better run. You better run, guy. No items. Although we did get a level up there. It looked like Miru. Maybe it was Albert? I clicked too fast. Run! Yuck! The Rouge School of Martial Arts is a tradition found only in my village. All the people who use the Rouge style from outside of my village must have a connection there. Do you know a woman fighter called Claire? I don't know any such woman. I learned it from my boss, Garage. Garage. My boss used to study it seriously, but, but he was kicked out 20 years ago. Then he became a bandit. Kicked out. Hmm. Now I know. That Garage. He must be the man who once was my disciple. He's over there, right? Yeah, but you cannot defeat my boss. My boss is ten times as strong as me. It's my fist that decides if I can defeat him or not. Oh, I'm gonna run. Bye. I love how Hashel did not remember, like, the name Garage meant nothing to him up until right now where he's like, Oh, of course, my young disciple. 
the, my, the guy I trained for who knows how long. What are you doing? I'll show you what the real Rouge School is like. Guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Yeah! He's gonna go Super Saiyan. Yeah! One punch. Ready? Ready? Dude. How cool is Hashel, man? Oh my god. What a man. Shall we? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. To the ends of the earth! Anyways, if we continue forward here, we'll get a nice little scene that's gonna happen. Our party separates. It seems obvious there are bandits hiding. Let's start looking here. Into this strange alleyway. What's wrong? <sighs> I think I did too much. My back hurts. Don't worry. I'll be all right if I rest a little. Hmm. Men, you should have thought about your age. Go ahead, I'll take care of him. Hmm. You will? I, I think I can wait here by myself. No way! We don't know when they'll come back! We gotta leave them then. We'll be back if something happens. If they come back, I'll destroy them. Be good, Hatchel. Uh, dude. Sorry about that. Hashel, what are you doing, my dude? Well, now we know where to go. Dude, look at the ruin. Oh my god. I love it so much, man. I guess there are only rock fireflies here. See, I told you, viewer. Miru. What happened? Ouch, um, something bumped into me, and, uh, oh, boy, where's Hatchel? Did he go by himself? Uh-oh. Hatchel, you, 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 you crazy young man. Anyways, uh, we're gonna keep the party that we have right now, which is Shayna and Miru. And we're not gonna do any grinding or anything yet, but we are gonna come down, we're gonna grab this. I did use the rock fireflies as well, so that's an angel's prayer out of that. And then right here... If you come talk to this face or look at, examine this face, it's a rock shaped like a face. Hmm. Why does it... I wonder, I wonder what that... I wonder what... I wonder what... I wonder what that is. All right. We're going to get into one more battle here, and hopefully I'll be able to show you a berserker. Yeah! Finally, we got some Zerkers here. We actually got two of them, which means that's going to be quite a bit of damage. But if we go ahead and we attack with Shauna here, you'll actually see how much damage. 161 damage. That's what I mean. They have no defense whatsoever, but they hit like absolute trucks. 177 damage just from one hit. 184, though, out of Miru, which is very, very strong, considering that right now she's actually probably our weakest character. So, Dart by himself can go ahead and eliminate one of these guys. 675 damage. Again, when they have no defense like that, you can just, you can just shrickety shrek them. Go ahead, defeat that guy. Very easy. Perky step. I'm at double smack. Perky step is one of her later ones that becomes super strong. Again, though, the 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 way that Miru's additions work means that she's going to be very, very strong later on. Uh, and not as strong when she starts off. Remember, while Dart doesn't have his Dragoon Spirit, he's not getting any SP. So using Dart right now is, like, not, not the best idea. Not only does he not have any additions that I can level up, but he's also just not getting any SP whatsoever. So now is a wonderful time to maybe knock Dart out. And this way, other people can reap the benefits. All right. Now, here's something that uh, only if you want every single thing that you can possibly get as early as you can possibly get it, do I recommend doing what I am about to do, my friends, which is uh, I am about to do this fight that's coming up, this boss fight, as many times as necessary uh, to get an item. 
the fight that is coming, there is a uh, one in four chance of each person dropping an item that you don't get until very late in the game. So uh, we are going to try to do that. Now, before we go into this fight, I want to show you what I went and did. Uh, I went and got a bunch of spinning gales from Lohan. Uh, and also I have this trans light that's going to be very, very useful in this fight. But I wanted to point out the spinning gales in particular uh, because we are going to, uh, we're going to use those. We're going to need those. So let's continue and follow our friend Hatchel. What? Kongle's here? Oh, that is not good. I cannot stop laughing, boss! They came all the way here. I guess that pebble I took was super important. There are too many people who don't care about their lives. The snot nose from Danao, too. Let's just kill that kid. I don't care that he's the son of the mayor. I got that woman with us now. Now is a good chance, because the woman is in control of the palace. It'll be a piece of cake to take over this country. My fist doesn't desire that kind of thing. I just want to live free. If she wants the power, I'll give it to her. Boss, you're going to be taken advantage of being a wimp like that. Garrett, you haven't changed a bit. Who are you? Shut up, you small fry. What did you say? Boss, is something wrong? Uh, master... Master of the Rouge School. Head of the bandits. How low you have fallen. I was right to kick you out. Yes, you were right. Thanks to you, I obtained freedom. I am not the person you remember. Martial arts is your heart. When you hit, your fist aches, and your heart aches. Except, it seems your heart has forgotten the ache. Shut up! I'll shut you up! Hoo-hoo! Dart coming in clutch! Have I kept you waiting? It's not fair leaving me like that. Do. Oh, Hatchel. Old man Hatchel. All right, so this is a perfect party for us. Uh, we cannot. Hatchel has to fight this battle, so we'll keep him in. No problemo here. Uh, and actually, we'll keep in Shayna as well. And uh, again, because magic is going to be super strong. That's why we went and got our spinning gale. Then why don't you remind me of your so-called aching heart? And here we go, the battle finally against the leader of the Garish gang, Garish himself, the disciple of Hashel, and of course, Mappy, who would have just been like just a normal bandit on the side of the road. But of course, he did steal the Red Dragoon spirit. So we are here to put an end to them and their takeover of Tiberoa. Now, right off the bat, uh, we got to start with our dear friend Hashel. So we're actually gonna go and use the speed up right away on Shana here or Shayna. You will notice that I actually got Dart really, really low before I came in here because I actually want him to, well, I want him to lose. I want him to uh, be knocked out for this fight. So right away, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Shauna here to use Trans Light on Mappy. And I'm going to go ahead and try to see how high I can get my percentage here. And hopefully we get 222% hitting Mappy for 659 health uh, or damage, which is absolutely redonkulous. Now, the next move, I wanted to use, uh, so I wanted that speed up right away because now when it's Dart's turn, what he's going to do is he's going to use the material shield on Shauna here so that she takes no damage from physical attacks whatsoever, uh, which is going to be perfect for the strategy that we're going to have here. Now, that was our only trans light. I didn't get any more, but what I do have is Dancing Ray. I'm going to go ahead and use one of them. I'm not going to use the other one because I want it in my inventory uh, since we can't get it for quite some time. And uh, this isn't going to do as nearly as much damage because it's a, uh, an all attack. So they just don't they just don't do that much. 396 damage, though, on Mappy, which means that Hashel should theoretically 
be able to finish him off. There we go. Down goes Mappy. That should be your priority target when you jump in here. Uh, and now we have five spinning gales that we're going to use on Garage himself, who is, of course, uh, Earth Elemental, which means that the wind damage is going to do a metric ton of damage. Uh, oh, man, I messed that up real bad there. Uh, so we're going to have pretty low percentage here, 178, which should do about 500 damage, 528. Now, we do not want Garage to die until he uh, is able to kill Dart. Because, again, I don't want Dart to get any XP in this fight. Uh, because it's actually just way better for him to get them elsewhere. So what we're going to do here is we're going to see if we'll get a counter. Unfortunately, no counter at all uh, from Garrich. I would have purposely failed it so that he would have taken the damage. And he would have lost, right? But it didn't work out for us. Sean has got another turn there. We'll use her spinning Gale. And then pretty much everyone else is just going to be blocking. So hopefully this will get him into the red. Garage does have a lot more health than Mappy. So uh, it, he's not going to die super, super fast. 206% hitting him for 611 total damage. Bringing him into the red. And Hashel is going to just guard. Same with Shauna. I cannot get him to focus down Dart. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But the, like I said, the counter definitely being the most effective. Perfect. Should do enough damage to knock out Dart. Perfect. And now, of course, we'll go ahead and we'll actually just basic attack with Shauna here for the 100 SP that she gets. Might as well build up that Dragoon level. And Hashel here will attack. Now, we could have finished this with just one Spinning Gale. That would have been enough to finish the fight. Or one more Spinning Gale, I should say. Now, Shauna, one more hit, and she will go down. So we want to make sure that he goes down on this turn, which I believe he will. There we go. Down goes Garage. I'll smash you. Whoa. Oh, no. What? Please run, master! Oh, no. There's no way! Wait a minute. It's hopeless. Oh, no. Oh, my. Congle? Not this one. Nope. No. Oh my god. No. Nope. Nope. Still nothing. <laughs> Please! Just drop it! Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Oh my god! Finally! Dude, that took... We okay, that took so long. Seriously, it's two days later. We finally got it the soul headband and the diamond claw in the same battle. Oh, and of course, 5,000 experience for our gang, guys. Oh my god, that took me so long, but it's done. I did it. I'm the best. Garrett, now I seem to be helping you remember the ache in your heart with my fist. Will he make it? Barely. At least for now. But if the Giganto over there hadn't saved us, he would be completely dead by now, and all of us too. Kongol, why are you here? And why did you save us? It's a strange way to get revenge on us. What's going on in your mind? You enemy no more. 
holy place of Gigantos. Be survivor. What about the other Gigantos? Human killed us. They stole Gigantos' treasure. Human thinks other species can die. Human selfish creature. That was the reason why you joined the Humans' War. It's for Emperor Gold. He's still small, man. He saved Kung. He fought against bad people. Kung comes with you. So Kung is here. Emperor Gold say he made worlds where every species equal. World needs strong leader. Whether you can be leader, Hongo will watch to the end. Gigantos' sadness should not be repeated. There is no such world where equal exists. What we have is killing and being killed. That's it. Hmm. Wait! I have my own objectives. I'm just continuing my journey towards them. I don't think I make a good leader. You defeat Emperor Gold. Strong, strong power. Stronger than Emperor Gold. Gongo wants to see where the power goes. Sounds good, doesn't it? Cause more people makes us feel more secure. Besides, I understand how he feels to be attracted to you, Dart. There must be something wherever you go. I still don't know what it is, but I want to be with you and do something. Don't you guys feel that way? Okay. We are friends now. Friend. It sounds good. We did it! You have forgotten the most important thing. Come on, we gotta find Lin. The Dragoon Spirit, too. What you are looking for may be down there. You'll push the thing up there. Is this it? Whoa! Garage, you have come around. I'm glad to receive your fist, Master. Shut up. Talking makes you die. I gotta tell you, this or I'll die as a real fool. It's about the Princess Emile in the castle. Or Emily, I don't really know. She's a fake. That woman was switched. Uh, don't say anything. Uh, the real one is hidden in the castle. I'll catch up to you later. I have to entomb him. The Garage Gang has been defeated, but more importantly, Kongol. The last Giganto of Endiness has joined our party. Me wait here. Bandits may come again. What a nice, what a nice guy Kongo is, huh? Ashu not back yet. You hurry. Go look your important thing. All right, I'll see you, buddy. Under the torch, there is a Stardust. The only Stardust that you can find in the home of Gigantos. There was only one. Maybe that's why they were wiped out. They couldn't make a wish. That was rude. Lin, where are you? Miru, are you here to rescue me? Of course. Kate's totally worried about you. Oh, no. I'm letting you out now! This opens it. 
<laughs> Miru. If your brawn doesn't work, you should use your brain. Miru, thanks! Do you know these people? These are my pals! We're traveling together for a variety of reasons. You came all the way to such a dangerous place? What great people! Thank you. People's courage hasn't dried up yet. You showed it yourself. But why did you come all alone? I had lots of things to say to the gang too. I wanted to solve this by myself. Besides, I thought I might be able to talk to Garrett if he hadn't changed. But something had changed. Probably the person who joined him a half year ago changed Garrett. And that person is now assuming the form of Princess Emile or Emily. I don't really know. We need to go back to the castle quickly. That's after we find the stolen dragoon spirit. Any stolen goods should be around here. They were throwing all of the stolen items in here. Now let's split up and look for it. Where could it possibly be, my friends? Uh, so as Dart, you have the opportunity to talk to whoever you want. You can talk to Lynn, who should be looking around the room. You can talk to Albert, who my logic will not work in locating it. Hmm, illogical. There are, these are all wine barrels. We can, we can turn this bit up if we want. That'll lower this prison again. Might as well. No reason to have it open. You don't know what could be in there. It's an enormous axe. I guess things, uh, I guess they were using such things. Look at how big that axe is. My God. Should be easiest for you to find it because the red-eyed dragon recognized. Oh yeah, we can see it. It's, it's, it's glowing. It's, it's glistening. I just wanted to talk to everyone first because it's more fun that way. It's a very important memento. You think? What is this? It's the mummy of a giganto. Again, they sure do have a bunch of mummy gigantos. I got it! And Dart can now be a dragoon yet again! It seems happy to meet you again. Acquire the red-eyed dragoon spirit yet again. Now let's get back to Fletz and see Princess Lisa and tell her everything. That's right, team. We are going back to the Twin Castle in Fletz. The home, the kingdom of Tiberoa. Did you find Lin? It seems you found both Lin and the Dragoon Spirit. Haha, -ha, friendos. So, my my dear, my dear, my dear viewers, Kongal has now joined our party, but we are immediately going to get rid of him. I'm sorry, bud. Uh, but no. Uh, you'll notice that because Dart was actually dead in that last boss, bass, boss, bass, bass bottle, uh, everyone else is around the same level now. We did have Rose and Albert were level 17, weren't even close to 18. And now, uh, everyone is very, very close in level, which is, which is good. Good for us, indeed. Uh, there is nothing, if you were to go back down here, um, there's, you can't, there's nothing new. There's no, like, new items or anything like that. It doesn't show you, but Lynn is actually also in your party right now. Uh, but there's, like, nothing replaced this or anything. Uh, it's a huge jar. Oh, it must be normal size for Gigantos. Um, so there's there's no, no unique items or anything that you can get down there. But, like I was saying earlier, uh, before the boss fight and everything, I do have to spend some time grinding in here because I do want to get just a couple more of the sachets that I can get from the piggies here and might as well spend this time working out maybe some levels uh, and more importantly, the additions. First things first though, we need to make sure that our dear friend, oh, oops, that our dear friend Hashel here has uh, the new weapon that he just got equipped, which is the diamond claw. You can see it actually raises uh, not as much as you would like, not as much, but that's okay. It is an upgrade over the beast fang. Uh, and we will have that equipped for quite some time. So I am glad, I'm glad that we were able to get that on, uh, on Hashel. Now we don't have any more. He hasn't maxed out Flurry of Six yet. So I won't use Summon for Gods, but, uh, I just thought I would point that out. Now, we do have Kongo here and you'll see that he does have one addition at the moment called Pursuit. Uh, he does not get many additions. Kongo is unfortunately one of the weakest people in the entire game, uh, which is really too bad because I used to use him all the time and then uh, the game the game is substantially harder when you are using when you are using Kongo. But you can look at his weapon damage, 134 weapons uh, weapon damage. That is way more the total damage, right, of his attack 
that is pretty substantial in his defense obviously being very very high uh much higher than even the highest at, uh which is albert at 89 but his magic stat and st speed is very very bad which is again what makes uh, him not very good because magic magic attacks are so 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 strong in Legend of Dragoon and speed obviously being one of the most important stats he kind of takes a back seat now there is something that we are going to do in the next episode uh, involving Kongol and uh, it's optional but we're gonna do it and I, I hope you guys are excited. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. It took me so long to get it done because I had to do this boss fight, uh, honestly, so, so many times. It's actually kind of crazy how many times I did this boss fight. Uh, but in the next episode, we will leave the home of Gigantos. We will go to Danau to see an optional scene and to Lohan, where there is a certain item that we can get now that Kongo's in our party uh that i think you're gonna like thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like it really does help me out uh and subscribe if you haven't already thank you and remember never give up never surrender to the garage gang